bovine growth hormone. What is bovine growth hormone? Recombinant bovine growth hormone, or RBGH, is a genetically engineered version of the growth hormone that is found in dairy cattle. The naturally occurring growth hormone is known as bovine somatotropin and is produced in the pituitary gland of the cow. Normally, bovine somatotropin is produced in small quantities and is used to regulate metabolic processes, which means that it helps the cow to do things like grow properly and produce milk. In the 1970s, a biotech company called Genentech discovered and patented the gene that is associated with the production of bovine growth hormone. They used DNA technology to make an artificial version of the hormone, which is now known as recombinant bovine growth hormone because it is artificially formed. RBGH is used by dairy farmers to increase milk production in cows. How does this work? First, the hormone is implanted behind the ear of a cow or injected into its food. Once it is in the bloodstream, RBGH acts like the natural growth hormone in cows and increases something called insulin-like growth factor 1. This stimulates milk-producing organs in the cow and causes the cow to produce more milk. Because RBGH is not produced naturally, it causes the cow to produce more milk than it is normally capable of producing. This can have negative effects on the cow. Sources of exposure. Recombinant bovine growth hormone is injected into dairy cattle, which means that if you drink milk, you are at risk of consuming the hormone. However, as of the year 2000, the use of RBGH has been banned in Canada although it is still widely used in the United States. Risks of using RBGH A big concern with using RBGH is that the hormone increases insulin-like growth factor 1, which causes cells to grow and has been linked to the development of tumors. A study by the Food and Drug Administration found that adults who drink milk have about 10% higher levels of insulin-like growth factor 1 in their blood than those who drink little or no milk. However, they also found the same levels in people who drink soy milk, so the study was inconclusive. Right now, the health implications for humans who consume RBGH are unknown. The biggest issue with using RBGH is the effect that it has on the dairy cattle. Because the cows produce so much excess milk, they need to be milked more often than normal. This can cause them to develop an utter inf infection known as mastitis. In 1991, a report by Rural Vermont found that cows injected with RBGH had a significantly higher chance of giving birth to deformed calves, implying that RBGH affects the reproductive system. However, no studies have linked RBGH to human birth defects. Benefits of using RBGH When RBGH is used properly, it can help to increase milk production in cows. This has many benefits because it means that dairy farmers can use less cows to produce the milk that they need. This decreases the environmental impact of dairy farming. Most importantly, when RBGH is used on dairy cattle, it does not affect the variability composition in milk. This means that the milk that the RBGH cows produce is identical to non-RBGH milk. Also, there have been no proven negative effects on humans. A lot of anti-milk groups claim that RBGH is directly linked to cancer. This is a myth. In fact, there have been no conclusive studies that have suggested that RBGH can hurt people in any way. Should RBGH be banned? 